The most important function of the radial nerve is to stimulate the muscles that stabilize the hand on the arm. To test the radial nerve, show the patient how to lie the arm on a hard flat surface and make a fist. Ask the patient to hold the fist up and to resist the force that you will apply. You will anchor the arm with one hand and apply a steady force with the other hand for five seconds. If the patient can resist the force you apply, it will mean that the muscles are functioning, so the radial nerve is not damaged. The ulnar nerve makes us aware of sensation on the small finger side of the palm of the hand. With the patient's hand resting on yours, ask the patient to close his eyes. With the eyes closed, touch each of the three points with the ball pen in the lightest possible way. If the patient fails to feel the pen at any point, the test is repeated. It can be considered that a patient has a loss of sensation if the patient fails to feel the pen at any one point three times. The muscles that move the small finger away from the hand are dependent on ulnar motor function. To test the nerve, Gently restrain the hand and ask the patient to move the small finger away from the hand. Having done that, apply a steady force at the very base of the finger to see if you can move the finger back towards the centre of the hand. If the patient is not able to move the finger out at all, the nerve is not functioning. If the patient is able to resist the force for 5 seconds, the muscle is strong, indicating that the nerve is functioning. If the patient can move the finger out but cannot resist the force, then the muscle is weak, indicating that the nerve is damaged. This patient's muscle strength is weak, indicating that the ulnar nerve is damaged. The median nerve makes us aware of sensation on the thumb side of the hand. To test the sensory function of the median nerve, the same method is used as that for the ulnar nerve. However, this presentation shows an alternative to the ball pen. The examiner is using a 2 gram monofilament instead of a ball pen. It gives a more precise result, but a failure to feel a ball pen will also indicate that the patient has a loss of protective sensation. The muscle that moves the thumb into the position where it opposes the small finger is dependent on median nerve function. To test median nerve motor function, lie the patient's hand on yours and ask the patient to point at her nose with a thumb. Ask the patient to hold the thumb firmly in that position as you try to force the thumb back towards the index finger. Apply a steady force at the base of the thumb for 5 seconds. If the patient can resist the force, the muscle is strong and therefore the median nerve is functioning. If the patient can move the thumb into position but can't resist the force you apply, then the muscle is weak, indicating that the nerve is not functioning properly. If the thumb is not able to move into position at all, the indication is that the median nerve is paralyzed.